Good morning, Husky Light here. I hope you're doing really, really well. Um, I hope you all had a, a brilliant day yesterday and it was really good. Um, I've had my hair done. <laughs> Actually, I think I've come on as a, a pretty good advert today um, to prove the benefits of water. Um, after the way I looked yesterday because I was run down and everything else, this is 24 hours of a good night's sleep. Um, and about two litres, two litres of water I drank as well, which has, has completely just made me feel so much better. Um, so I think that's pretty, pretty good, pretty good advocate for water and, and being a little bit more healthy. I had a salad as well, so that was really good. <laughs> so there was no, you never know which way, which bit of the camera to look at. So Oracle cards angel messages for Tuesday the 21st of April 2015. Thank you so so much for all your subscriptions, um, your subscribes, your Google Pluses. Um, really I, I love you all for that. I really do appreciate it. Um, I, I apologise if the, the adverts at the beginning naff you off a bit but you can skip them. Um, you know this is this is my my this is my job this is what i do this is my source of income so um just just skip them <laughs> and i tell you what it takes it it takes a long time um to, it, it, this is like any other business um that you build up and ooh, you want to come out and it, and it just takes a long time um to build up just like anything else so i really do uh, i really really appreciate um and thank you for subscribing that's brilliant right this one and one more I hope the weather's gonna be gorgeous today I'm gonna go and get a barbecue this afternoon if I can ooh right okie dokie Right, let's see where we're going with these. <laughs> First one is is um, <laughs> really cool, which I will show you. <laughs> where have I pulled that one from? Hang on a minute. Right, the card is <laughs> transformation. Um, and that is Archangel Zadkiel. Thank you, Zadkiel, for supporting me um, to transform from my past challenges. Um, so not just me. I know that yesterday um, there was a lot of talk about arguments. And I'm sorry, I'm trying to get this in because my light's on above and I don't want it shining. There was a lot of talk yesterday about maybe some arguments around and, and things that we didn't really really want and taking a step back and not really so maybe um, this is sort of a continuation of yesterday um, that's quite hard to do right the angels are encouraging you to see that there are many opportunities to transform at this time in your life you may feel emotional or overwhelmed by your feelings or even angry, but please be assured that this is a process of transformation taking place. Your energy is being stripped of anything that is no longer serving you and you may feel all open and vulnerable, but please know that the angels are looking after your mental, physical and emotional well-being. Right now you are a caterpillar tucked inside its cocoon but soon you will become a vibrant butterfly. So it sounds like the angels are actually um, preparing us for more changes that we're going through at the moment or may be going through. So the fact that we um, may have anger or we're upset or um, we, we've got these sudden emotions, you know, we wanna cry or we wanna scream at somebody. Um, we've got all these sudden emotional um, feelings they're probably feelings that are coming up that need to be cleared 
um, that need to be transmuted, that are fears that we have that we we may not even know that we've got, um, that are being sent up to the angels to higher consciousness um, to be transmuted, get our fears transmuted and taken away, our layers stripped down, um, as I've said, in order for us to transform and grow. Um, and, and we are the caterpillar and we're waiting to, to come out of the, the cocoon. You know, some of us might have already started to come out of the cocoon. Some of us maybe still, you know, whatever was going on yesterday, because I know the energies were high, maybe. It's, it's still going on for some of us. Uh, for maybe for some of us, we've started to feel some peace and things are starting to calm down. Um, so... The angels are here to acknowledge the emotional and physical transformations that have taken place in your life. They can see you more clearly now that you have released old and dusty thoughts, actions and situations from your life. You are moving to a space where you are more comfortable in your skin than ever. You have transformed yourself physically and emotionally and this is seen through the strength of your very divine and aligned spirit. So, congratulations. Um, congratulations on starting to transform on don't worry about these these energies that you feel don't worry about the emotions that you feel if you are feeling them really strongly at the moment because you are transforming you are transforming into a better person you are getting better um, your belief systems are changing the way you think the way you deal with things the way you deal with situations all of these are changing for you at the moment. Um, you know, we had that lunar eclipse and the solar eclipse. It didn't stop on that day. It wasn't for like the 20 minutes it crossed over the sun or the moon. Um, the effects and the feelings from that are going to be felt for probably up to about six months afterwards. So we are going through changes. We are feeling them. Um, but be assured that the angels are around us and they know what we're going through. They know what you're going through and they're supporting you in, in every way that they can. Zadkiel's name means righteousness of God. He is the angel who brings emotional balance and helps to transmute any negative experiences and bring them into a focus for love and learning. He's the keeper of the violet flame. A spiritual energy space where we can go to release and surrender anything that is no longer serving us. Raguel and Zadkiel are the angels of justice and they are here to bring peace and harmony. Um, and he is a beautiful violet colour. So let's just let him do his job today. Let him bring us some peace and harmony um, into our lives in, in whatever way he can do that for us so that's our first card our second card that we I came to come out with it did the bloody lot of it going on today maybe that's why I had an urge to change my hair colour <laughs> and get my hair done because it's it's this feeling of, of wanting to change of wanting to transform um, if we've had these strong emotions that we might not have been able to quite know what to do with them uh, weren't quite sure where they were coming from um, this is why we're, we're all in a, a period of, of transformation and growing we are growing through our experiences and we're getting stronger through our experiences and we're coming out the other end stronger and we are being made into, into better people so that is all good next card again change and transition Thank you, Azriel, for leading me safely through this change. You're going through some changes right now and you may not be enjoying them, but please be assured that they are for your highest good. Change is a natural process that we are constantly moving through on different levels of development and experiences so that we can grow. Allow yourself to relax, knowing that the angels are supporting you through these changes. Again, it just <laughs> might as well hold up. Archangel Zadkiel as well, along with Azrael, because both of them are completely all about changes. Changes can be a really challenging process, 
um, especially if you fight it. Know that you are supported at this time and the changes are really bringing blessings into your life. You may be faced with the feeling of fear and not knowing what the next stage is, but there is plenty of doors opening and opportunities being presented to you. Allow yourself to let go, welcome the new and exciting energy life is bringing to you. It can be really, really scary um, when we're going through changes and, and when we don't know maybe what those changes are or even where those changes are taking us. We have to go with the flow. We have to take the path of less resistance, the least resistance. If we try and fight it, it makes things just a million times worse. It really does. And you know yourselves, if you are fighting against something that you don't want to happen, um, but you know it's going to happen anyway, it just makes it so much more emotional, so much more heart-wrenching um, in whatever situation it is. It, it's, it's best to just surrender. So do you know what? I know that my angels and everything, they're doing this for my highest good, okay? They're doing it for my highest good. I've got to go through this. It's going to help me grow. It's going to help me learn. I'm going to come out the other side of this a far better person than I was before. So much better than, than I was before. So much more healthier, wiser, more amazing, more beautiful with more peace. So go with the flow, go with these changes. They're a blessing in disguise. They may not feel good at this moment for some of us. Uh, some of us might be flying through life and it's all all right and it's good. Congratulations, I'm really happy and that's really good. But for some of us, we might be going through it a little bit. Um, I went, I seem to go through a lot of crap last week. Um, so hopefully, you know, things are calming down for a lot of us. Um, but it is the energies that are around us at the moment. Is this, this, this feeling of transformation and change and um, having to learn about ourselves and having to grow. It's the new moon as well. I know I put a video out yesterday um, about putting down our affirmations, our, our setting our intentions for the new moon and what we want um, and I deliberately, in my when I set my transit um, wishes out yesterday, and I actually showed you what I'd written down. I think I deliberately said in it, "I'm ready to to learn the lessons. I'm ready to move forward now." Um, and when you ask your angels for help, they will come and help you. And if you said that you're ready to move forward and you're ready for the changes and you want to move forward then by goodness me, they will come down and they will help you and they will help you to change and they will help you to move forward and it might feel uncomfortable while that is happening but subconsciously we know that that's got to happen subconsciously we know uh, this is what's going on so it's those two cards and I'll, I'll, I'll just tell you what um, Archangel Azrael's name is means it means he who helps God he is the angel who guides us through the process um, of transition. With his phoenix-like energy, he helps us to rise from the ashes of our challenges to be reborn and positive again. He's got a close link with mediums and is the angel who lovingly guides us to the other side at the time of our passing. He is strong, he is loving and supportive. Call on him to guide you through the change in a peaceful and loving way. Um, he seems a nice guy to guide you to the other side. Let him help you. Whatever whatever's going on in your life at the moment, let um, let him help you with it. So our third card. Spiritual support. Dear angels, I allow you to support me as I grow to become more spiritually aware. So all of these changes that we're going through are to, to, to literally help us grow, be, help us to become more spiritually aware, um, more aware that oh, there is so much more, so much more to this universe, to this life to, that, you know, that we will probably never know until we do pass over, but we're learning. We're learning on a day-to-day -day basis that life can be 
uh, mysterious, amazing, stupefying, is that a word? <laughs> but it can be. Um, and if you let spirit guide you, and if you let them look after you, and trust in them and surrender to them, life can be pretty amazing sometimes. There is more spiritual support around you than you realise. There are angels before you, they're behind you, they're above you, they're on all sides of you. These divine beings are here to guide, reassure and love you. Feel the blessings of the angels who are surrounding you at this time so that they can help you be more at peace and free of any restrictions in your life. You are supported by angels on every step of your spiritual journey. So open your heart and accept this support. Um, I don't think we're getting off lightly today with, with things that we might have to learn. Um, I think the angels are definitely um, quite strong in telling us um, that we've got angelic support all around us today um, because we are going through changes. End of. I don't know what to say. Um, we're going through changes. They're there. Um, whether we feel these um, changes on a really deep core level, uh, whether they're something that, you know, maybe some of you have already got through these changes and you're not particularly going to feel them that much today. Other ones, you know, you might be breaking down and crying. There might be still anger there, maybe from yesterday. Um, but all of this stuff is being brought to the surface to be healed basically for, for us to learn from it so the angelic realm is supporting you at this time with regards to decisions that you've made they have been you have been unsure about some areas in your life and they want to assure you that all is well and guided so maybe some of us have been back and forward and up and down and trying to make decisions and trying to come up with final decisions on things that we want, things we need to get rid of, um, situations in our life that, that need to be sorted out. And um, they're here for us today, absolutely. They're offering you help with any concerns that you have at this time and encouraging you to become aware that they are supporting you in every area of your life, including the challenging ones. Be aware that every part of your life is part of your spiritual journey and you will be guided all the way. So, I mean, what we always say, you've got, we've got to enjoy the journey. Yeah, it's not about getting to a goal. It's not about... Uh, reaching some goal at the end we were supposed to enjoy the journey on the way as well um, and sometimes it isn't always that easy to enjoy it um, because maybe some of the situations that we're in but um, go with the flow as much as you can today is, is, is the advice angels are all around you they're supporting you they're looking after you you're amazing you are for a lot of you you're in your little caterpillar stages, you're in your cocoon. We're going to burst forth again. We're going through another change, another transition. We're going a little bit higher. We're transcending again. Um, you know that every time this happens, we have the conflict, we have the, the pain, the arguments, whatever. We get through it, we learn from it, we transform. We go on to the next stage. So be thankful, be thankful that we're, we're going through this at the moment and this is the way it is and um, they were obviously watching me when I did my hair. <laughs> right, have, have a day, drop me some comments below, tell me how your day's going, tell me how strongly these changes are happening, how strongly you're feeling them, um, what's going on in your lives, um, I'd love to hear. Um, if you'd like a private reading from me, drop me a line. Um, I think there's a link below. I'll drop that below. 
um, or you can send me an email to info at huskylight.com and um, website will be um, that's that's yeah, transforming and going through a lot of changes as well at the moment um, there'll be some new things going on by the end of the week um, in my little shop um, online I'm actually going to be putting some um, other bits and pieces on that won't apply to you know not all of you will be interested in but there'll be um, some little sculptures going on there for you to buy your, the little angel ones um, spells ebooks and um, what's the other thing I was going to do I should do some numerology as well um, as Feng Shui and that so it's going to be quite a lot of bits and pieces that are going to start going up onto the store so keep popping um, back probably not today from tomorrow though um, just keep Popping back and having a look at the store, see what you fancy. <laughs> and um, in the meantime, as I say, have, a, have a, a brilliant day. Have a lovely day. I love you all. Loads and loads and loads. Namaste. Okay, and I will speak to you soon. Okay, bye.